what's up guys JV here and today I have some more MLB the show 20 content for you in today's video I'm gonna give you guys kind of like a tips and tricks video I always have people come into my stream saying you know JV what are some tips you know to go 12 and 0 what are some battle royale tips in general how should I draft my team so on and so forth so in today's video I'm gonna just pretty much draft my own team I'm gonna go through what I'm thinking when I'm drafting that team what my goal is while drafting the team and really just what I think the best strategy is to draft the 12 and 0 team you may agree or disagree with some of the things in the video but i do think some of the things in here will help you moving forward or you could learn something new so hopefully you like the video if you do if you would hit that thumbs up button for me like subscribe all that good stuff um as far as support goes if that's what you want to do i would appreciate it but yeah let's get to the video all right guys so first you want to enter the draft right so 1500 stubs go ahead and flush them down the toilet but no matter what you do get a standard pack back in return so really you're only losing 500 stubs depending on how you look at it but boom we enter the draft and the first thing i want to point out before we start is up in the top left corner you see the diamond flashing with the number two on it so this means so you have 25 total rounds we're in round one of 25 if you add all those numbers up there it's going to equal 25 so i have two rounds where it'll be all diamond players as you can see one of the rounds right now is diamond all diamond players three rounds where it's all gold nine rounds of silver nine rounds of bronze and two rounds of common so when i'm in this diamond round the first round is always a high diamond round always so they give you you know your your bread and butter right off the rip so me i'm looking at best relieving card best closer slash reliever or the best offensive weapon i can have i'd never really look at starters in a diamond round i really advise you to never look at diamond starters ever maybe gold i can justify maybe gold i can definitely justify silvers but don't ever 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 take a starter as a diamond round you're playing battle royale it's only a three inning game there's really no need for a starter if you're only playing three innings you get a full bullpen so use you know diamond rounds and gold rounds on bullpen guys because it's only three innings and like i said you don't really need a starter so here i'm taking my best offensive threat and larry walker is my favorite literally my favorite hitting card in the game currently i'm taking the larry walker here in the diamond round so our next round boom you see it's a bronze round here i'm just looking at what's the best fit for the team who could i use in this bronze round that you know could be useful i don't want them to really start for me but i gotta find useful picks here so in the bronze round i i, I really try to look for guys who are either you know really good with speed or have high contact versus lefties or maybe high contact versus righties. so here you see nick hunley He's got really good contact against lefties. If I had a catcher, a starting catcher, I'd really think about taking Nick Hudley here to bring off my bench and hit against lefties. But really, it's a brand new draft. The board's clean. Really nothing to do here besides take a relief pitcher or a starter. I like my starters to be all, you know, bronzes, maybe a silver or two. So I'm going to go starter here. Really no harm, no foul. We move on to a gold round. Again, guys, I'm not looking at starters in a gold round, so Marco Gonzalez is out for me. So I'm looking at Stevenson, Jones, and Joey Gallo. Joey Gallo, the ultimate just pog battle royale card. I'm just talking juicy. So I'm going to go Joey Gallo here, even though he only has 13 vision. I could really see a lot of people going with the catcher card there, maybe even Jones. But for me, I'm looking for long balls, homers big swings we're gonna go joey gallo that's a good gold round i would advise if you ever had joey gallo in a gold round probably take joey gallo there all right so we have another bronze round i'm just gonna go starter like i said i'll waste all my bronze picks on starters if i can so we have our second and last diamond round here and again this is just somebody i'm looking for the biggest offensive threat since i don't have a reliever here i would like to take a reliever here a lot of times i take one diamond starter and one diamond reliever but Verlander's a starter. I don't really want to touch Verlander here. So I'm going with the best starter. I'm going to go with this Steve Finley card. It looks like he's an absolute freak as far as hitting is concerned. So we're going to go Steve Finley. So, so far we have three lefties in our starting lineup. Wouldn't mind getting a righty bat. Here's our first silver round. And to me, I'm a believer silver rounds win or break your battle royale, you know, drafts, your, your streaks. You win your 12 and O's, you get your 12 and O's in your silver round. So you want to hit the money on the silver rounds. So I'm not going to go starter here, not with a couple of good names on the board. Jonathan Scope, Pedro Baez, two names that are used a lot in Battle Royale, or Eddie Matthews, if that's your thing. Uh, so for me, I'm really boiling this down to Jonathan Scope, a good right-handed bat, would really be a nice mix-up with the three lefties I already have, or Pedro Baez. 
Inside Edge also works in Battle Royale, so you got plus 13 hitting and plus 13 on the K through 9 if you wanted to use Pedro Baez. I'm going to go with Scope here. Nice right-handed hitting bat. Really haven't dabbled into the bullpen yet, but that's going to change this round. We're in another silver round. Not going to go starter here. Not with Amir Garrett, left-handed fireballer, you know, relief pitching card. Miggy Cabrera, nice right-handed bat who could play first. Polanco, a nice switch hitter who plays short. All three of these guys are nice. If I had a stacked bullpen right now, I'd think about going Polanco, but since my bullpen's empty, this is a no-brainer. This is Amir Garrett. Like I said, your silver rounds win or lose you the drafts, in my opinion. So we have our first gold round here, which is nice. Justin Dunn, I'm not. I'm going to pass on starters, guys. I'm going to keep saying it. All bronzes for your starters. Maybe some silvers if you really want to you know, mix in, mix in some silvers. But never gold and never diamond pitchers. For me, in my opinion, in Battle Royale. Um, bullpen's still pretty weak, right? We got one arm in the bullpen. Our offense is looking A-OK. -okay. We got Walker, Finley, Gallo, Scope. So to me, I'm really thinking Frank Thomas here, big, big right-handed hitter. He'd be my four hitter, no doubt. Be a good BR guy for us. Or Tyler Duffy, right-handed arm out the pen. And I'm going to go Frank Thomas. I should probably be going with the reliever there, but I'm going to go with the big right-handed bat. And right now I'm thinking I got five offensive weapons, not just players, weapons. I don't really have to worry about offense too much moving forward. I'm pretty sure that the lineup will figure itself out, right? So I'm thinking pitching now. I really only have one bullpen arm. My rotation's got a couple scrubs in there. I would go, you know, Julio Urias here. Um, maybe Tommy Listella, maybe Rosario. I wouldn't really touch the Vasquez. So me, I'm thinking, all right, I'm going to use my exception here. Offense is loaded. I have seven silver rounds left. Why not take a starting rotation pitcher here or a bullpen arm? That's a silver. I'm going to go with Urias. He'll be the, you know, the opener, the starter for me in game one. You can also bring starters out the pen later on. So if you wanted to use Urias out the pen, that's an option too. So a pretty nice weapon there. Another bronze round. I'm going to go with the bronze starter. We have another bronze round, except I'm not going to go with the bronze starter here. I'm going to go with this left-handed pitcher. I like to have a couple left-handed bronze relievers if I can, guys who might be useful in extra innings. If you lose out on, um, you know, finishing the game in three innings, maybe you're playing one of the miserable BR games that's in like the fourth or fifth inning, and you're deep in the bullpen, this left-handed reliever as a, as, as a bronze could help you in a matchup, you know? Your opponent's got Babe Ruth up, and you, you're you digging for a lefty in your pen. Boom, there you go. Somebody at the bottom of the... Uh, bullpen who's a lefty who might be able to get you an inning or so so we got another bronze round here i'm taking trevor lopez i just said trevor lopez trevor williams so my starting rotation is done i can't use any more bronze cards on starters i can't use any of my two common cards on starters that's gonna have to be bullpen or my lineup but like i said our lineup's pretty stacked right we only have three more positions available i wouldn't mind it if you know they were plugged with high bronzes or low silvers because my offense is already pretty stout as it is. My main focus moving forward is this bullpen. I got to get this bullpen a humming. Six silver rounds, one gold card. I wouldn't mind if all of them were used in the bullpen here, but let's see what we get moving forward. So we're in a bronze round here. I'm going to use one more bronze round on a starter take a risk bam it backfires because now we get another bronze round and we really can't use this on a reliever because we need to fill out that that bullpen so we need to save wasting a bronze round on a bullpen guy so we're gonna take russell martin here and hopefully he's not our starter right it has him kind of marked in as the starter at the moment but hopefully later on in the draft we get a better catching option and we can move russell um russell martin to that bench so here we go another bronze round and they're kind of hammering us with the bronze rounds here which i mean it is what it is right we're gonna go with marwin gonzalez this is a bronze card who plays everywhere. He plays all over the field, like six different positions. I'm hoping he doesn't have to start for me, but if he does, my offense is still pretty freaking good, right? So here we have a common round. I can't waste a common round on a reliever. We're kind of getting, we're kind of getting screwed over here, right? Because we were hoping to get at least a couple silver rounds in between. So we're going to go third baseman here. Anybody, just pick one and really, really cross your fingers that he's not your starter, which look, we get lucky pretty quickly, right? We got Edwin Arconacion. He can move to third base for us. It would be a bad third baseman, but he can move to third base. We can draft Willie Adamas here. He can move over to third base for that common card. Austin Meadows, if we wanted to take another outfielder, um, but I don't. However, that Joey Gallo does play third base, so I can move this Austin Meadows to left and have Gallo move to third. Or I can go with this Dylan, po or this Colin po uh, Poche card, and I think I'm going to do so. So I'm going to go with the silver 
reliever there, but I could have been, you know, saved there in the silver round by taking somebody else and getting rid of that common third baseman. So here we go. We got another silver round. We have Kurt Suzuki, Vizcaino, Kyle Tucker, and Trey Mancini. This is really pick your poison, you know, which one do you want? Me, I'm going to think I'm going to go Trey Mancini here, move Mancini to the left, and move Gallo to third. My second choice would probably be Vizcaino, but I don't really like this Vizcaino, even though he throws heat. I still have four silvers and another bronze round left. I feel like my bullpen will be, you know, filled out. So I'm going to go Mancini. He's going to play in the outfield. Joey Gallo is going to play third. Let's move on. We have another common round. We're just going to waste this on anybody but a reliever, right? Because we've got three relief spots open. Those have to be silvers or golds. So here we're going to take a backup catcher just in case I don't get another catcher so I can just pitch hit for my catcher every time he's due up in the game. Another silver round here. We got Jesus Aguilar, Jed Lowry, and Brian Anderson. This Brian Anderson would, would help out. I could put him at third. Keep Joey Gallo in left. Trey Mancini off the bench. Or we can go Nate Jones here. Silver Nate Jones. I'm going to go Silver Nate Jones. I kind of like his uh, his arsenal. His two-seamer is pretty nice. We have another silver round, and boy, am I excited to see this guy pop up. One of the best silver relievers you can get in Battle Royale. Pretty freaking good sinker as well. I'm going to take him. And now our bullpen's starting to look like something, right? We got Watson, Nate Jones, Poche, Amir Garrett. It's starting to kind of look like something here we go we have a gold round guys so now we have kind of a dilemma right do we want to take our last relief spot as a gold card mike minor and, and really have kind of a solid bullpen or do we want a guy like you know o'neill cruz who would really help offensively mark trumbo another guy who would really help offensively i'm gonna go with the reliever here i'm gonna be smart my offense is already pretty damn good so Bullpen's complete, right? We got a few good names in there. We got Watson, Mike Miner, Nate Jones, Poche, and, and Garrett. Bullpen's starting to look like something. The bullpen might be the weak point of our team, but our offense will just pick up, right? Hopefully pick up because the offense is pretty dang good itself. Let's go over here and look. So I'm going to move Kyle Lewis to the outfield. Mancini's still going to be benched, and Gallo's going to move to third base. Or... I can go Manny Pena in here and get really, you know, get rid of the, the the bad catcher spot that I have. But I'm not really worried about catcher because I have a guy on the bench who catches plus a bad catcher. I can always just pinch hit, make a substitution, put my backup catcher at catcher. Not really worried about having a bad catcher. I'm going to go with the Kyle Lewis. So we're down to two rounds, a bronze and a silver. Team's pretty much complete. So now we're looking who's going to help us most. So we got to look for a specialty. So Tyrone Taylor doesn't really do anything great. Decent speed, decent fielder, right? Chad Pinder, decent, decent card all around. Nothing crazy. We have Cesar Hernandez who plays short, second and third. He plays middle infield. He can hit against righties pretty well. Average speed or the Ryan Zimmerman card. I'm going to go with Ryan Zimmerman. Look what he does well. He, he specializes in hitting against lefties. He's a guy who you would bring off your bench in case left-handed relievers in. We'll go Ryan Zimmerman. He'll be my first pinch hitter against left-handed pitching. Last round, guys. Last round. Silver round again. Team's pretty much figured out who's going to help us most. Cole Calhoun absolutely mashes righties. You can always go with him. Paul DeYoung plays up the middle. He can play for Marwin Gonzalez for me. Um, it's probably who I'm going to go with, right? I don't want Marwin at short. I'm a little scared of Marwin at short. Maybe Dylan Moore. Dylan Moore card actually looks pretty good. Haven't used him. He plays absolutely everywhere, all over the field. Uh, sure, we'll go with the Dylan Moore. Even though I've had success with DeYoung in the, in the past, I'm going to go with this Dylan Moore. He kind of shocked me there about how he looked. So let's get into making the lineup, right? So bullpen, we want, you know, Mike Miner, boom. He's going to be right there. As our closer, he's our best reliever. We'll go Tony Watt. Oh, no, we're going to go Nate Jones and Amir Garrett at the setup spot. Then Watson and Poche in the middle relief. Minter, you know, that that bronze reliever, the lefty we took, he'll be the last resort kind of guy out of the bullpen. And then hopefully we don't ever have to get to Wilmer Font. Let's set the lineup. So I like to have my best left hitting stick leading off the game. That's going to be Larry Walker, followed by uh, Jonathan Scope, right, in the two spot. Pretty good hitter for us. We're going to move this Dylan Moore to third, where he probably belongs. Kyle Lewis is going to go to short, except that's going to be boom. Dylan Moore at short. Third base is going to be Joey Gallo. Hopefully he still has that as a secondary. He does. Good. And now do we want Steve Finley in center or Kyle Lewis? It's going to be Steve Finley, Kyle in left. Who's in right field for us? Larry Walker. Boom. Set. So I'm cool with that. 
Catcher card, let's replace him. No, we can't replace him. That's correct. All right, catcher card. That's going to be Russell Martin. He's going to bat ninth. He's just going to be pinch hit for every time, guys. So what I'll do is I'll pinch hit Russell Martin for Trey Mancini. Once Trey Mancini's in the game defensively, we'll bring in Austin Bosart as the defensive backup and have him uh, kind of take care of it from there. So yeah, lineup. We'll get to the lineup. The lineup should be looking pretty good. All right, so let's actually set the lineup. Boom, Larry Walker, Scope. Let's go Steve Finley, three. Frank Thomas, four. Joey Gallo, five. Kyle Lewis, six. Dylan Moore, seven. Followed by the pitcher and the catcher, but those will be like Trey Mancini. Like, I have some good pinch hitters here, so I'm not really worried about 8-9. Eight, 8-9 nine. Eight, nine is kind of a weakness, but man, the top of our lineup and the middle of our lineup really, really smokes. So yeah, we'll set the rotation too. We have Urias, who is very, very usable. Can even bring him out of the pen if we need to. But yeah, that's really going to do it for the squats. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today's video. Like I said, the three main things I'm looking for is one, in my diamond rounds, I'm looking to get a diamond hitter in one of them and a diamond reliever or closer in the other. I'm not really worried about, you know, starters in the diamond round. And I'm really not trying to do two diamond hitters or two diamond relievers. I like to split them up. If I had to choose, though, I would do two diamond hitters before two diamond relievers. That's just me. Secondly, you win and you lose your BR drafts in the silver rounds. I'll say it again. The silver rounds, the silver rounds, the silver rounds are most important. You're going to win or lose your drafts based in the silver rounds. So be strategic with it. Look ahead, kind of for, you know, envision the future with your team as far as your silver rounds are concerned. It will go a long way. And third, don't be afraid to use that redraft button. Cancel your, you know, forfeit your entry if you lose a game after a couple. Redraft until you feel like you got the right team. And honestly, don't be afraid to practice drafting because that's actually a thing. If you got some stubs laying around that you're not afraid to spend and to waste just on drafts, don't be afraid to, you know, draft a BR team. Worst case scenario, you are still going to get that standard pack at the end of the BR round. Every single time you enter a BR draft or a BR round, you are going to get at least a, you know, at least a standard card in return. So keep that in mind, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a good day. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time. Peace.